Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Paula. It is Saturday, January 20th. We are 20 days into our challenge. This month has flown by so quickly. Saturday morning, I have my little one, my little grandson here, if you just heard him coughing. Um, we all kind of got little colds going on, but um, we just got back home last night. We decided to come home early from the lake because um, my mother-in-law is not feeling well and we need to check on her. We haven't seen her yet. We're going to uh, go over there and see her as soon as uh, mom and dad come and pick up our little guy here. It is already 11.30, we're getting hungry. Mom and dad are on the way to get our little grandson. I'm hanging out right now in my basement. Um, he likes, the kids like to come and play down here when uh, they are over here because they got toys and stuff down here. So as soon as we're able to leave the house, we're gonna go and grab a quick bite to eat and then we're gonna go visit Ed's mom. She is doing better. She just um, wasn't feeling well over this past week. Um, and as of yesterday, she was doing better. So we're gonna go visit her today and make sure she's okay, make sure she has everything she needs. And so as we go throughout the day today, I'm gonna be showing you what we are eating. I've already had coffee this morning. We are also gonna stop at Aldi while we're out. We need to get a few things. So uh, stay tuned for that later on in the video. Um, but for now, I'm gonna finish playing down here with this little guy and um, I'll show you what we're having when we get to the restaurant. See All right, then. so it is almost five o'clock. We went out to breakfast this morning and I ended up having a meat lover's omelet. I'll put a picture of what my breakfast looked like. I had meat lover's omelet with some tomato slices and coffee. And that's all I've had so far. We've been out running around, went and seen Ed's mom. She's doing okay. Keep her in your prayers. And so I have a little grocery haul right here um, that I just picked up from Aldi. And I'm going to show you what I have and what I'm going to make for dinner. So here it is. I like this bacon here from Aldi. This is the Never Any Uncured Bacon. Tastes really good. Very clean. I got some of the Never Any Ham. I just bought a big block of it. I'm gonna divide this up into little vacuum sealed packages and we can have some ham and cheese omelets. We haven't had that in a while, so I thought I would pick that up. Got some sour cream. These um, beef hot dogs, they're uncured. These are really clean hot dogs. My grandkids love these and they're really good in the ingredients right there. Three packs of eggs. Parmesan cheese, I like to grade my own. I just throw this in the blender and I have a high power Vitamix blender. I also have a Ninja blender and they both work well when you throw this in there in chunks and it'll grade it up. You don't have the added ingredients in there to help keep it from sticking. And got some liquid egg whites. I'm gonna try a recipe later this week. Heavy cream, I got these because my grandkids like to have snacks when they're here and they really like these Parmesan cheese crisps and they are just the parmesan cheese just a few ingredients here and i got uh the uh, cheddar as well and then they have these almond flour snickerdoodle cookies and these are actually gluten-free and these are sweetened with erythritol and so i have just a few things for them to snack on when they come over green peppers that's going to be in a recipe for later i have um some lettuce here. I bought a pack of chicken thighs. This week I'm going to take the skins off of these and I'm going to show you how I crisp them up to make them into like little chips. And so that's going to be probably not tomorrow, maybe Monday I'll do that. Um, I have some of the Irish butter, onions, mushrooms, some provolone cheese, and some of this thin sliced ribeye. This is uh, my haul from Aldi today. So I'm gonna get this stuff put away and I am going to get started on dinner. And so I'll show you what that will be in just a little bit. See All right, soon. so I'm getting ready to make dinner. I'm gonna make some Philly cheesesteak hoagies. Um, I have my skillet going here with some butter in it. I'm getting ready to make my cheesesteak filling. I have some hoagies in the oven. I used Amy Carnivore Angel, her Hawaiian roll recipe. I left out the pineapple, pineapple extract. I will link her video down below on how she made the Hawaiian rolls. Mine are just gonna be in the shape of a hoagie. And so I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera around, show you how I'm gonna make up this cheesesteak filling. So I have this large iron skillet here and I have some butter heating up in here. 
And I'm getting ready to toss in my onions and green peppers. I have just a few strips of green pepper and some, this was a medium onion that I sliced up into thin slices. And I'm gonna go ahead and get this going in the butter. I'm gonna also add some salt to this. As it's cooking down, I need to turn my heat up a little bit. Add some salt. And a little bit of granulated garlic. I'm gonna sprinkle that across too. And I'm gonna let this cook for about two minutes and then I'm gonna add my beef. I have about two pounds of thin sliced ribeye that I got from Aldi that um, it's thin sliced and then I cut it up into thin strips. You could use uh, sirloin steak for this. You could use um, New York strip, whatever you wanna use. You can cut up some uh, thin, thin slices of steak and then you can just throw it in here. I'm gonna go ahead and add my beef. You can see here, I cut it into thin strips. It's about two pounds, just a little over two pounds. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit more salt to this beef. And brown the ribeye. All right, so I forgot to hit the record button. I did add some white fresh mushrooms in here that I gave a rough chop to. I added a little bit of broth to this just to give it some liquid in here so you can serve it alongside if you wanted to, like an au jus. And I'm just gonna let those mushrooms cook down just for a couple of minutes. Okay, I just laid the provolone along top. I'm gonna let this melt down and I'm gonna get the rolls out and get these served up and I'll show you what they look like. Here's my Philly cheesesteak. I already gave Ed his, looks delicious. That's really good. I'm having this and I'm having this Zevia creamy root beer for dinner. That's going to be it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a busy day. Didn't have a lot of stuff to put into this, but um, keep going if you're in this challenge. Make sure that you comment down below how you're doing. And I'm going to go ahead and sign off for tonight. Make sure you subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and I'll see you in a day or so. Have a great day and God bless.